Hi, I'm Pete May, president of GreenBiz Group, here with David Katz, CEO and founder of Plastic Bank. Uh, great to have you here in Phoenix. Um, what brings you to our event? Anytime we can be in a conversation over sustainability and stewardship of the earth, we want to participate. And especially when we're here with a partner that's mm -hmm. helping bring change to the world, yeah. of course we're going to come in. Green Business has known that partner, SC Johnson. We've known Fisk Johnson, I think, going back, <clears throat> gosh, since we founded Green Biz 10 years mm -hmm. ago. Um, and I know it's, talk a little bit, this is a, this is a company that has kind of a, a personal and family commitment around sustainability and specifically around plastics. Your issue, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, Fisk is an amazing ocean advocate. I'm, I'm not surprised that anyone that's a diver that's connected to the ocean is participating in keeping plastic from entering the ocean. Mm -hmm. We're really talking about ocean-bound social plastic. Mm -hmm. That's really the conversation for us. So yeah. social plastic is a material whose value is transferred into the lives of the people who encounter it. Mm. Now, Fisk as well knows that the root cause to ocean plastic is poverty. And in areas of extreme poverty, when there's no recycling or waste management infrastructure, mm -hmm. that's when it ends up in the environment. Yeah. Now, the plastic bank has monetized waste. So it sounds like you're using a market mechanism to try to deal with this, this issue. It has to be a market mechanism. I have a beautiful saying that a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. I'm surprised at how many people want to argue the poor into recycling. Hmm. You can't. Hmm. If I can help you have a transformative learning experience where you now see plastic not as waste, but as opportunity, and not even opportunity, but how about medical insurance, mm -hmm. school tuition, sustainable cooking fuel, Wi-Fi, cell phone minutes, and everything else the poor truly need mm -hmm. and can't afford mm -hmm. available using ocean-bound social plastic. And how, what are the mechanisms you, to create to help frame this market and make it, make it simple for them? We're like a chain of bank branches, mm -hmm. cooperatively owned by the community, mm -hmm. where any family member can take all of their household material Deposit it at a branch, at a teller. Deposit it by weight mm. and withdraw cash or through a digital wallet, mm. pay for the things they and their children need the most. Yeah. Creating a monetary system out of waste. And this is playing out first in Bali? In the Where Bali's, yeah. um, there, our relationship with Essie Johnson has taken us in the valley. Fisk, is, Fisk loves the ocean as I do and that's really where we connect so well. This is about stewardship of the one ocean that connects all of humanity. Yeah. And, and so Bali's important. Bali's a great entry level into Indonesia. Hmm. And of course, there's all of Indonesia. The hundreds of millions of people that live there also will benefit from economic development. And that's really what we do. We're an economic development firm. So if this, what will this project look like? There's an urgency, as we all know, to mm. dealing with this mm -hmm. issue of plastics and oceans. Mm -hmm. What will this, this project look like in one or five years from now? a continuous exponential model for the world. Now we've also partnered uh, with a great technology company that has created a blockchain banking mm -hmm. application for us so that we have exponentiality. So what we've created in, in Bali with Essie Johnson, this power to show and exhibit what's occurring and then to continue to replicate throughout all of Southeast Asia to create every community so that every household can become an owner in a recycling business. Mm -hmm that yeah. every household is concerned with it, not because it's recycling, yeah. but because their life gets to change. Yeah. And so we've taken the value of that petroleum resource and give it into the hearts and souls of the people responsible for collecting it and stewarding it. That's great. And putting it back in the supply chain and back into yeah. S.E. Johnson products. Well, this is a fascinating project using the market to harness, you know, really um, deal with a, such a compelling issue. Um, David Katz from Plastic Bank, mm -hmm. thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Great.